In this tutorial, you will learn about the Nutrient Application Planner. It is a tool that you can use to help manage and edit or update your manure and fertilizer applications. The Nutrient Application Planner can only be opened up while you are in the cropping screen. While in the field and cropping year you want to make edits in, click on any cell in the row of this year's manure or this year's fertilizer. Let's take a quick tour of the planner. The center of the screen shows you what field you are in and what cropping year. It is easy to navigate to a different field or year if you are not where you want to be. Also note that there is additional information about the field here. These three buttons are also handy. We'll get to those later on in the tutorial. Up top is a handy summary of all farm nutrient sources that are available planned, and remaining. These two tables are where you add or edit applications. So let's get started with a manure application. To add manure, click the plus sign to add an application, then select from the drop-down menus the manure type. Note that you will only be able to select the choices that were entered in the nutrient screen. If you need help on how to complete the nutrient screen, Please see our nutrient screen tutorials. Once you pick a manure source, you can edit the season of application, spread method, spreading area, rate, whether a nitrogen inhibitor was used, and whether that application has actually been applied. So let's go back to spreading area. Choosing a spreading area allows you to comply with any restrictions on the field and avoid prohibited areas. In cases like winter nutrient spreading, you will only be allowed to choose spreadable acres as an option due to winter restrictions. You can make up for the missed nutrients in that area by applying there in other seasons and choosing the winter manure prohibited or manure prohibited options. The acres applied will adjust for the area you choose to spread on. After making any changes to the tables, remember to click on the Apply button to have the changes entered into the program. This will update with any compliance messages here. If there is any additional guidance available, this button will be highlighted with red. If relevant, you can explain any non-compliant applications in this text box. You can also see how the field's over and under recommendation values have changed as well as any remaining manure volume after adding that application. Applications can be deleted by selecting the rows and clicking the minus sign above. So as you can see, you can edit many aspects of a manure application to a particular field. You can also use this table to edit other organic amendments. There are two more buttons on this table, Winter Practices and grazing estimator. The grazing estimator is handy if you have fields that are grazed and need to estimate a manure rate. You can also access this from the nutrient screen under the herd setup subtab. The winter practices button opens the winter practices window. You only need to open this if you are applying manure in the winter to fields with greater than 6% slope or concentrated flow channels. Once the window is open, you can verify the field slope here, and then select two of the following runoff prevention practices to follow. Click OK to accept changes or cancel. Now let's take a quick look at the other table, which is for fertilizers. The method is similar to manure. You enter the source, season, Spread method, area, rate, and check if it's the actual application. The column for the timing of the application is optional, but important to have filled out if you are using in-season nitrogen applications on highly permeable soils where the majority of the nitrogen should be applied post-planning. Okay, so remember those three buttons that we were going to come back to? 
The first two, Apply Nutrient Systems and the Create Nutrient Systems, allows you to add a nutrient system that you created on the nutrient screen, or you can create one from here with this button. We cover how to do these in the Making Nutrient Systems video. For now, just know that you can access them from here. The last button opens a Field Restrictions dialog box, which shows if the field has any restrictions. You can also add checks here in case any restrictions were missed and any notes that might be relevant. You can also navigate to another field in the same cropping year here. To exit the dialog, either hit Accept if you want to keep any information, or Cancel to Not. Just one quick last note. If you have imported applications from the Records or Daily Log tabs, they will show up in the Nutrient Application Planner as bold and italicized, with the box under Actual checked. These applications cannot be changed in the Nutrient Application Planner. To learn more about importing application records and editing them, please watch our videos on the Records screen. Thanks for sticking with this tutorial. This is the end of the tutorial on the Nutrient Application Planner.